honest, these guys all work hard. The weight room helps us on the field because it gives us that, that power that we need to move somebody. As me playing tight end, I might be playing against somebody, a defensive end that's a lot bigger than me. I came in here at about 225 pounds. I was a little on the heavy side. I actually slimmed down, got a lot faster, and I've gotten a lot stronger. It's correlated to the field a lot. The weight room, you know, gives me that strength that I need to be able to push them out the way so I can make a hole for my back to run. The workouts have definitely helped me to, to get better at that and transition more from high school to college and, and be more ready for a game situation. I bench about 430, 440. I would say the, the strongest bench press would be Eli. I have to say uh, Eli Joseph is the strongest guy on the team. My name is Eli Joseph. I'm the strongest guy in the weight room. I have the strongest guy stop me. That's the only way that I get pushed, and that's the only way I can get stronger. Eli's put a ton of work into it. And since I've been here, he's, I've still seen him go up in his numbers in the weight room and get strong on the field, you know, moving from one position to another. Coach Tony Decker, he's our strength and conditioning coach. He uh, basically tells us what to lift, when to lift, how to lift, how to run, you know, everything that makes us, you know, physically capable to uh, perform on the field. The next workouts are, are intense. They, uh, they get pretty hyped up when we try to get riled up in the weight room. For number one is camaraderie. When you're sweating and working with your teammates and you see the sacrifice they're making, I think that's gonna carry on to practice and games. The more solid your body is, like everybody's protection there, all you have is a helmet and shoulder pads. There's injuries that you can't control, but there's also injuries you can't. So the more like built your body is, the more armor you have. If you're bigger and you're faster and you're stronger, you are gonna perform better. If I'm not physically able to run if I'm not able to run the ball uh, the way I'd like, then it's, I can't really do my job. The key to that is the things you do in the weight room have to mimic things you're doing on the playing field. We had so many players improve over the offseason, during the summer, during last winter. Overall, the work ethic, the improvements have been tremendous. Uh, you know, in the weight room, I'm competing with linebackers, tight ends, running, you know, running backs, everyone. Uh, we take it real seriously, and we, and, it's all, and we compete in the weight room just as much as we do out here. It's a lot of young guys that are stepping up. You know, a lot of older guys are showing them the way, and it's important for them to teach them how, how competition works and how important it is to get them to the field. Basically, the competition is so much higher nowadays since, since when I got here. So every day you got to compete for your starting role. And if you're not on the top of your game, you could lose your spot. It, it, it can be tough because there's always competition. There's always competition between uh, you know, guys moving up between uh, you know third team to second team, second team to first team. I actually love that aspect of practice. It makes it, it makes it more like a game experience every day, um, going out there and, and, and competing for a job. I was the last recruit to be signed in 2007. From that day on, I just tried to abide by everything Coach Golden was saying and show me how I should act on and off the field. Because I know that if I'm the last recruit, that there's 10, 15 other guys in front of me that's, that's already here that they really want it. So I got, if I'm going to want it, if they're going to play me, I got to prove myself before anything. Death charts that we finished this spring with are basically in shambles at this point uh, because we've had a lot of competition and we've had a lot of guys step up. And the stakes are going to be really high two weeks from now, right? Two and a half weeks from now. It's going to be tough here in the next 48 hours to, to pick the team and now there's real true competition at every position. That's a challenge for some guys to be unselfish. That's a challenge for some other guys in the team to step up, right, and, and improve our program. You guys understand that? I think we've done a good job taking care of our business. You know, we've been able to find very good players by paying attention to the local kids. My show is Temple mainly because, you know, they're one of the first teams that recruited me. I came up here for my official visit and I liked it and just fell in love with it. And then it's just, I knew I wanted to be here. I had a couple of offers. I turned down Ohio and Ohio State. They called, told me they wanted to offer and bring me up on a visit that weekend. And I told them on the phone call that I'd already made up my decision that I was gonna to come to Temple and I committed to Temple. Temple had been recruiting me so hard uh, and I've been talking to them every week. Um, I came up I came for a visit in, uh, in late December and, and, and I, I fell in love with the place. I knew that we were going to be up and coming. I knew I could be part of something special coming here. 
you sign kids that can help with your program and, 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 and comport themselves, you know, the way you want your student athletes to, to act in the community and obviously uh, get the right type of student athlete in the classroom, uh, then that's going to lead to success. So hopefully we'll continue to do that.